The day he was made Pope, uh, the internet was full of images of the two of us side by side. It was either me and the Pope or High Sparrow and the Pope, which led to a lot of speculation that maybe I was in fact the Pope <laughs> and uh, it was my latest role. Um, so there was a kind of inevitability to it. Okay. <laughs> what was your, like your first reaction when they call you to the, to the Pope Francis? I've mixed feelings. Pope Francis is really the first Pope that I've really been aware of. I mean, I'm not Roman Catholic, I'm not religious, but he was the first Pope that was saying things that meant something to, uh, to me and people like me who um, had concerns about the environment and about uh, social issues. I was very happy to do it once I read the script. Of course, the, the thing that really clinched it was the, that Fernando was going to be yeah. directing it. Did you know Fernando no, before? No, I, I knew City of God is one of my favorite all-time films. I never thought that I would have the opportunity to work with Fernando. And as you know, he, he's a wonderful director. Yeah, he's fantastic. Yeah. I know it's very early, but we can, we can have some pizza. Uh, of course, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna count one, two, three, and okay. I'm gonna have a pizza. Wow. We Excellent. have with cebolla, it says fugaceta, and mozzarella. A very sophisticated um, uh, Fanta. drink. Fanta. Yeah, Pope Benedict's favorite. Yeah. But the... <laughs> so I, I know how I felt when I was asked to play uh, Pope Francis, because there's a, you know, there's a distance between me and Argentina, and I, I could be an outsider looking in. What kind of responsibility do you, do you think you were carrying by playing him? Did you worry that uh, you would be portraying one side of him? Well, before I read the script, yeah, because yeah. I thought this might be, you know, uh, everything beautiful about uh, Bergoglio and mm. he's a great pope and he's th this guy who always smiles. But once I read the script I realized that pretty much everything that I thought about the Argentinian history was there and the, the movie really doesn't evade anything. Mm. It would have been uh, a pity for me to work in something that I don't really believe. You're mistaken, you are serious. I cannot play this role anymore. When I see you two, you and, and Anthony working together, it's it's so amazing. I'm, I mean, everybody said, the two of them, they're, they're so great. I was nervous about working with him. Mm. Uh, he's a bit of a hero of mine. Um, what was the first time? Yeah, well, we don't, we'd both been on a recording of the mm. Dylan Thomas poem, uh, but that was like almost 30 years ago. You know about it, but we have this thing called a call sheet, which tells you what time you're working the next day, what scenes you're doing and it has your name and your character. And it also has a number next to it, which denotes your importance in, to the film. And this time round, I was number one and Tony was number two. It sort of rankled a bit with him. Um, he's not used to being number two. So every morning at breakfast or every morning arriving at work, he'd greet me with the morning number one. And I'd say, morning number two. And uh, he had huge signs made for his trailer that were bigger than mine and uh, he tried to get number one put on his trailer. But he'd get his revenge because uh, after we finished filming and uh, we'd be exchanging emails, he would say, you know, morning number one and he'd sign off uh, yours, sir, number two. So he'd, he'd get his own back on that. It's great that m many things of the movie were shot in the real yeah. location. The strongest memory I have is uh, is uh, saying mass, uh, which was uh, a very moving time. They were very excited. A couple of uh, times, um, young women brought their babies to be blessed. Oh, really? By me. And they yeah. were either thinking I was the Pope or uh, pointing at me and saying Peron. You, you did Peron and the Pope Francis. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, there's, there's some left. Yeah, I yeah, we have Maradona. Maradona, I'm a bit too tall, but, uh, <laughs> no, but we, you with CGI, you know, yeah, yeah, uh, they can do everything course. now. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah. And Messi, you can Messi. do Messi too. Yeah, yeah, my yeah. skills are up there with his. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. I think so.
If you do this, you will damage the papacy forever. I was wondering if you saw like a lot of YouTube videos of Pope Francis. When he was made Pope, there were lots of uh, coverage about him on TV. I had a great awareness of how he moved and mm. spoke. It was just the softness of tone and the kind mm -hmm. of gentleness in his voice. There were things I discovered about him that uh, I don't walk like him, he walks like me. <laughs> so I was... Uh, I think he's actually been looking at my old movies <laughs> and researching the way so, I walk. Yeah. Did you speak Italian before? No, I didn't, I didn't speak Spanish the... and I didn't speak Italian and certainly not Latin. I mean, I only learned what I had to say. Yeah. So my papal Spanish is perfect, but I still couldn't order a meal in a restaurant. <laughs> um, but I could say mass. Is there at least a possibility that you might be chosen? No. It could never be me. And when I read the script, I, I didn't know it was uh, as funny as it is. When I've seen it with uh, audiences, and it was a real surprise uh, how much they laughed. That laughter is an indication that they're really listening. Did you improvise a lot? It, and it looks like improvisation. Yeah. Nearly everything was in the script. We get to tango together. And what about that scene? It was, it was written that you, you, you were supposed to... Uh, dance. It was scripted, but we didn't rehearse it. So I just went into it to teach him how to dance. And I don't know how good a dancer Tony is. He's not very good at doing the tango. <laughs> I know that much. It's an indication of where that relationship has gone. With, with, you know, the two guys looking beadily at each other during the first conclave uh, to becoming two men who could uh, tango together. And also the way that, you know, I went to say goodnight to him early in the film and go to embrace him yeah. and he shifts it to very, very yeah. awkward. Yeah, that yeah. tells a lot. Uh, yeah, he doesn't even, even go for a man hug. And at the end of the film, towards it, I'm giving all the ends away now, but everybody knows what happens. They're yeah. still alive. <laughs> um, and uh, then the, there is a very warm and meaningful embrace, which uh, I know people find very moving. Yeah, very much, yeah. Serigano. Your gardener gave it to me. You're very popular. I just try to be myself. Whenever I try to be myself, people don't seem to like me very much. Well, we've been talking too much. Um, now you can see the movie and uh, you can comment to tell us what you think. Yeah, answers on a postcard, please. <laughs>